Still a fair bit of English representation in the Europa League. Wolves, who've had a good run so far. Man United and Arsenal. Let's focus on those two. What or which of the two is it more important that they do well and win the Europa League to get into next season's Champions League? Manchester United. It continues to be Manchester United. They are the story and will continue to be the story so long as they continue to struggle, if you, if you will. See, if Manchester United is not playing well, they're a story. If they're playing well, they're a story. They are the sort of team that moves the needle. And so for them, it is imperative if they want to get back to a level of being a relevant team in terms of performance, a relevant team in terms of points, a relevant team in terms of their stature on the field. Not, not the marketability of the field, not the strength of the brand, but the strength of the team on the field. It is imperative that they are able to be competing in Champions League. That's where all the top quality teams, all the top clubs in the world want to be. And if you are in that dance, you're supposed to be a big club. Well, Manchester United is supposed to be a big club. That, that's where, supposedly, that's where they belong. But it's not just about belonging, it's about proving that you belong, and they have to make sure they do that. The win at Chelsea moves them to within three points there. So they could do Champions League mm -hmm. through the league. They've got Olympiacos in this. Let's take a look at the odds of some of the other teams and Man United and Arsenal to win this competition, which, along with victory, would come with a Champions League spot. Both at 7-1. to one. Now, <laughs> they're not giving too much away, the bookies, in this one. Sevilla, because of their history, and obviously they're a good side, in Europe, if I gave you one dollar, one pound, one whatever, one euro mm -hmm. for a free bet on any of those, who do you like in this competition? You going for one of the market leaders like Inter? Just out of just 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 for common knowledge for people full disclosure, you're not giving uh, me a dollar for uh, anything. No, right? No. Okay, well, that's let's if, just... uh, hypothetically, if I if I if I found one lying in the street, uh, yes, and I don't know that you would give it to me, but uh, let's get past that. <laughs> You'd get down to it before I would, let's uh, put it that way. All right, so in any case, Inter. Inter of that group of teams that we just saw, they are the most talented group, they are the best team, and should be perhaps the most motivated to win this, this competition. Now, people may say, well, what's the motivation for Inter to win this? Well, while it is true that they are very much in the race to win Serie A, if you're Antonio Conte, and you're looking uh, at this from the perspective of taking steps forward as an organization and changing the mentality and changing the culture. Well, part of changing a culture is let's get back to winning. Mm. Winning things that matter, winning trophies, winning things that, that put us in a different category altogether. See, lifting a trophy is not a bad thing, not for anybody. I don't care if it's Europa League or not. Mm -hmm. You lift a trophy, that means something. That's an achievement, and I think Antonio Conte can certainly sell that, just in case you come up short and say, yeah. Because coming up, on, coming up short on Serie A may just be the thing in which it just, people can approach it as, see, we tried really hard, but in the end it was Juventus again, and so that's it, failure for everybody. Well, not quite. Not quite if you, are manage, if you manage to push Juventus all the way through with the possibility of winning, but and also you, alongside with that you have a Europa League uh, title as well. I think Antonio Conte will push his team to win this competition. Finally, let's talk about some of our team we talked about earlier. We spoke about Arsenal, mm. finalists recently against Chelsea. Will that do them the power of good and the knowledge that we've already got to the final? Let's try and do it again. Or are they not good enough, do you think? It, it's an uneven team. And it's a team that is inconsistent. And from day to day, they can, and never mind from day to day, from half to half, True. They, they can look like a different team. And so it's difficult to trust Arsenal. And so while it is important for them to win Europa League, to get into Champions League, and, I, and they, it would be an area of need for them and for Mikel Arteta, I, I do think that of the teams that we have seen and the teams that we have discussed, Arsenal would not be my favorite simply because I don't know what I'm going to get from them. And I don't think that they know what they're going to get from themselves on a game-to-game -game basis. Europa League begins again with the knockout stages this week. Full coverage on ESPN FC. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.